I'm Diana Dopp, and I'm here interviewing Doris Denton, and we're here at the Armed Forces Retirement Home in Gulfport. I understand that in April, they announced the fee increase is going to take place on October 1st. If you don't mind, how much is that going to Over $570, which is going to take my entire military paycheck, which will leave me $3 out of that, actually. So therefore, and I still have car payment, insurance, church tithing, other things like that that I'm obligated to do. I have to keep my, my driver's license up, my license plates up, all that kind of stuff. So where am I going to get this money to do this? The, the home seems to think that uh, we're all invalids, and we're not. We're independent living. We are still vibrant. We go out and do things, and they're trying to make us not be able to do that. They want to keep us prisoners in our own home, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. What's your home city and state? My home where I was born was New London, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. My home of record now is Pensacola, Florida. Okay even though I live at the Armed Forces Retirement Home. Okay, what brought you to AFRH in the first place? I came to, to a Gulfport for a Women in Vietnam Service Conference, and there was a chance to tour. I came and toured it and liked what I saw, mm -hmm. got the brochures, at that time it was 30%. I filled up my paperwork and by the time I got in here it was 35%. But I made all my arrangements on 30 percent. Mm -hmm. Got rid of everything I could get rid of. Uh, my home was underwater. I couldn't sell it for the price I needed. So I didn't benefit from selling a home like a lot of other folks got to do. So I came in here with nothing but my military retired and my Social Security. That's it. And that's what they're taking 60 percent of. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't leave me much of anything. I can't buy the necessities like everybody else has probably already told you. Toothpaste, soap, toilet paper, replacing clothes, shoes. I can go barefoot, I guess, but can't, can't buy new shoes. Shoes today cost a lot, even if you're wearing tennis shoes. So therefore, I can't do anything extra, mm -hmm. period. I can't. I play golf once in a while, a couple of times a week. I won't be able to do that. I won't be able to go out to dinner once in a while, a couple of times a month. Uh -huh. So we're, we're going to be treated like uh, we're invalids, like we're already in assisted living. Mm -hmm. Okay, what service were you in? I was in the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. United States Marine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now you've, you've explained the impact it'll have on your lifestyle. What do you plan to do as a result of this increase? Right now, after I reworked all my finances, I can stay here and make my car payment and my insurance, but I don't have a dime left. But I plan to stay at least through December. Uh -huh. And after that, I may make it another decision. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.